So we're talking $13 billion in subsidies over 10 years. Uh, it is controversial. Franco Terrazano is joining me now. He is with the Taxpayers Federation, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Good to see you as always. Okay, so uh, you heard about this. Your thoughts? Well, we're against it. We have so many taxpayers who are struggling right now, and the government shouldn't be forcing so many struggling Canadian taxpayers to give buckets of cash to the tune of $13 billion to a multinational corporation. And then just run the numbers, too, on the jobs. Well, this will be a cost of each job of more than a million dollars, likely millions of dollars. We heard the 3,000 job number. Well, that's a cost of $4 million for each job. But really, this is corporate welfare, plain and simple. And if we want to attract more business investment in Canada and also grow the businesses that are already in Canada, what we should see the government do is cut taxes, cut red tape, and cut this corporate welfare out. Hey, you heard a number of the ministers, including the prime minister as well, saying, look, you know, if we want to compete with the U.S., we had to offer this because they brought in this this massive inflation reduction act, as you know, Franco, which is, you know, a huge, huge way for the U.S. to, you know, boost uh, EV technology and then you know, big time environmental changes coming to the U.S. In order for us to compete, we had to also offer these kind of subsidies or else Volkswagen would have opened this battery plant in the U.S. Your thoughts? Well, you know, as uh, as many young kids learn, one of our first lessons is just because your friends do something silly doesn't mean that you should do something silly. And, and respectfully, if the U.S. wants to waste their taxpayers' money, doesn't mean that we should be wasting our taxpayers' money with corporate welfare. Now, what we should be doing to compete with other countries is cutting taxes. 51 other national governments have cut taxes since the beginning of the pandemic or to ease the pain of inflation. That includes more than half of G7 and G20 countries. Two thirds of OECD countries have cut taxes. Now, what is chasing away and making it harder for businesses to, su to succeed in Canada are the tax hikes. For example, this year alone, we've seen payroll taxes go up. We've seen alcohol taxes go up. We've seen the carbon tax go up. And the government is getting ready to impose a second carbon tax through fuel regulations this summer. So what are we seeing this government do? Raising taxes on ordinary Canadians, then giving buckets of cash to a multinational corporation. And that's just wrong.